Good evening, everyone. In this video, let's have a look at what do they think, feel, and tend towards you right now. I have five, uh, four, sorry, different tarot card decks here. Number one, two, three, and four. If you'd like to participate, please think about that person, your love interest, and choose a deck and take your time, please. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one. Deck number one. What do they think about you? Well, seven of cups is of course fantasizing thinking. What do they think about you? Empress, King of Rods. Well, it can be that they're choosing between you and some other woman. It can be that they are deciding. Um, you know, or it can be that they are thinking about a conflict they had with you. It can be that they have a wife, this is you, and they are kind of choosing. It can be they think about simply, if you're a wife, maybe... That you're very strong as a woman, that you're very, you know, uh, harsh, you know, assert, you know, assertive, and uh, there is a conflict going on between you and them. It can also be that. Now, what do they feel about you? Well, feelings are, I would say. Uh, there is love uh, in either case. Depends on what is the reason. It can be that you don't listen to them. For example, they want to advise you, they want to protect you or something, and you basically don't listen. But they still are there for you. So, you know, the, the feelings are basically, no matter what's happening, either you're trying to, they feel like maybe you've changed your mind about them, Maybe they think that you had a conflict with your husband. If they are the husband, maybe they feel that you had a conflict with them also. Um, you can also talk about the fact that uh, let's say you're having financial difficulties or you're abandoning your old job or something like that, like something that was stable. And right now they just feel like they're there for you. And you can come to them and they will. you can cry on their shoulder, basically they're there for you. So I would say love, feelings are love, um, but love is difficult, love is not very easy, easy. Uh, but there is this, we are the same, in the same situation, you know, that sort of solidarity. Now, what are their intentions towards you right now? Well, it seems that they're pretty kind of happy in where they are, can be they enjoying with their family, can be they are eating dinner, um, can be they have no complaints whatsoever, uh, intentions, they are content, you know, they don't have any wishes, they don't want to change anything, right now they just want to enjoy that moment and don't do anything, like they don't have any requirements, maybe they just want to have a rest, Maybe they want to have a rest in that joy that they're feeling, uh, you know, and don't do anything, don't uh, think anything, you know, just relax. And uh, that's it. If you're the wife uh, or husband, it can talk about some sort of family happiness and kind of that cozy feel, you know, with children and everything. That it shows that they're content and they want to enjoy that moment. And um, they don't want any change. If it's a person who has a family, it can be that they're enjoying in their family. And they just want to everything to stay the same right now, at this moment, okay? So, yeah. Okay, let's see. What is the advice for you regarding this person as well? Happiness, content... 
Okay, so and you know that whatever you have with this person is perfect. Um, there is happiness, there is pleasure, there is a sense of achievement, emotional kind of joy and peace and things like that. But of course, life is going on and there might be some sort of like difficulties you'll have to manage. You have to maybe keep the balance there, you know, with your person, with your partner. And it just talks about maybe financial, some sort of, um, you know, work and financial things and how to balance and manage and things like that. Maybe for your family, the money and everything. So maybe it's just try to keep the balance uh, with this person. Try to get, balance your work with your family. And uh, try to be patient. I think patient here with your partner and with the family life in general. And it shows lots of talking about lots of money, perhaps, and uh, maybe new financial projects, unexpected, you know, some sort of rich person will come to you and offer you some sort of job or something, you know, like a project will start there. It can be not necessarily a person, it can be you yourself uh, doing something new for your family. There'll be new... Maybe you start a company, a job, or open a shop or something. Something with money. You know, your family will be rich. So, I don't know. I get that you're a couple here. And that you will have a very rich future. So, we might have a lawyer, legal stuff happening. But very good luck. Financially. Okay. So, this was our reading number one. Let's move on to reading number two. Reading number two. Let's have a look. What do they think about you? What do they feel? What do they intend? What do you think about you? Well, it can be they think about you like either you broke their heart or uh, they are breaking your heart. There might be some sort of love story going on here. Um, like maybe a rich girl who broke their heart and they're so poor and, you know, they're so self-sorry. Sorry for themselves. It can be they think that you basically um, you know are not very how to say empathetic towards other people. You know, like they, you break people's heart in some way. You know, like you you you, don't, you have everything, so you don't care. <clears throat> Maybe you chose your financial well-being over your love to a person. Maybe you rejected a person because you wanted to protect your some sort of financial well-being. So something is there, like I feel maybe a, a, a drama was there. Maybe they, they think you hurt them, you know, if they're a male person. If if it's if you're a male and they're a male, it's the same basically, yeah? It's the same meaning. They think you hurt them. You betrayed them or reject them or you cheated on them or you basically broke their heart or feelings because of something that you did. There is something undoable. 
but something you know that can heal so let's see what are the feelings towards you look we have very mixed cards you, you see swords with cups and immediately some emotional pain going so there is love they feel love but they feel like they are either you don't give them back that love or they cannot love you or something they have no ability to love you or it can be that they love you but you don't love them or you love them but they don't love you something like that you know but there is love very clear but there are enemies from both sides of that love like it's not allowed to flourish it's not allowed to be there is fear anxiety and there is um you know maybe fear what others will think and these things can be very contradicting in that person's heart like fear to love i would say what do they feel about you they are afraid to love you. I would say it's like one-sided love. You know, it seems. But I do not know which one is the sad part. Which one is the happy one. Which one of you is in love with the other. Intentions of that person... person might um, might not to intend to show that love you know somehow they might uh, have some sort of thinking which says that they should appreciate whatever they have <clears throat> so they have certain things maybe they have a house maybe they have a job maybe they work away from you maybe they live away from you and uh, it's possible to have a dream and work on it. Intentions towards you. Romantic intentions. Well, I don't see any intentions as, as such. If you ever meet, they will act emotionally unavailable and kind of kind of mean even you know strict or something like they don't have feelings um these cards are very sexual and intense so i think they would try to avoid meeting you interacting with you but if they will ever meet you they will try to act a bit aloof towards you in order to hide their feelings towards you you know attraction types of feelings do they love you well this might not be love exactly this might be um, interest you know interest and kind of curiosity Wanting to learn about you, wanting to get to know you. It can be physical interest. You know. <clears throat> what is advice for you regarding this person? Mm, well, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's good the way it is. Let's say if you're not together. Being away from this person might be a good advice. You know, saying that uh, it's sad, but, you know, time will heal the wounds here. Time will heal the wounds. You have the power to let them go and move forwards with your life. You know, maybe time has passed, quite a lot of time has passed since you haven't met or something. Time, in this case, will heal 80% of the wounds, you know. And... Uh, and you need to, slowly, slowly, you'll release the past and you will move on. But it's not advising you to be with that person. Why?
Oh, maybe that person is married. Maybe that person is not what you think they are. Maybe that person has a woman you don't know about. Maybe that person has a temper that you don't you wouldn't like if you knew them. And it might show that they are settled successfully. They're living with someone. <clears throat> and because of that, um, you know, it's not advisable. So maybe this broken heart is uh, your broken heart. And for them, maybe for them it was just beginning of feeling and which didn't work out, you know, for some reason that relationship didn't work out. And the I don't know that you have feelings for them and they're kind of trying and they, they kind of feel that. Or it's, you know, they were about to start having, but something interrupted it, something, it couldn't happen. So it can be both ways in, in a way, but for them it must be more physical and for you more emotional. So this is our reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three. Deck number three, Hanson Rubbers Tarot Deck. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look at what do they think about you. Person number three. Well, this person seems like they think about you very well. They might be... You've made a good impression on them. They like you and they're waiting for you. They can't wait to see you again. It shows that they are kind of longing for you here. And um, they just love. They see you as a nice person, nice guy. You know. Or, I don't know, nice person, yeah? Like someone has a meeting and they like the person and they want to see them again. That sort of thing. What do they feel about you? Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe they feel um, there's a problem with communication. Maybe they feel some sort of sadness about you not talking or... Let's say you're not sending them message for a long time and they're kind of getting sad here. Maybe your communication has slowed down. Maybe it's something with the media related, you know. And it's just they becoming a little bit gloomy for some reason. Why are they so sad, really? Well, it can be that um, something finished, you know, whatever you were doing, something finished, and can be also related to their work, some sort of money or work. Uh, you know how sometimes work affects relationships. Maybe they're too focused on their job or and something's not going right at the job. Maybe they want more that they can do and that kind of bugs them. So what is their, you know, what are their intentions towards you right now? Well, I think if you had any conflict or anything, they want a peace. They, they want to avoid any type of conflict. If they feel they have to make a decision right now, 
or uh, they are pressurized in making a decision, let's say they're being rushed or something, they need time. It seems that they don't know what to do right now. They don't know. They can't decide. <clears throat> what is advice for you regarding this person? Okay. Well, here definitely is to contact this person. To contact this person... Um, because I think something is happening that might change this relationship for forever. Something not good happening, like it's about to, a breakup is about to happen. Some sort of, um, <clears throat> culmination is about to happen. Explosion in the relationship, you know, and, uh, element of anxiety and conflict. So either gather your courage and talk to them or something like that let's see is it really to talk to them well it does show that it might be a little bit complicated here this relationship might have some sort of element of addiction Element of not being able to let go. Very successful though. Too successful to be truth. Talk about it. Because it's getting out of hand. Too much success. Too much flourishing. You know, some sort of like... Um, unstoppable you know unstoppable kind of relationship i don't know uh like you have no control over yourself here yeah talk to them maybe tell them the truth it talks about, like, you're not interested in, I don't know, starting a new relationship or you're not interested in a new adventure or you're kind of too tired to uh, start something new. Maybe it's a new job that this person is offering you and because of that there is a conflict or maybe it's just the, new, the energy that is new in this relationship. You're not interested. Maybe you're too tired in life or maybe you're just past and you can't you know digest the new things that are coming in here so maybe the cards are saying here is a new relationship if you want it but it, this card shows that you kind of don't want it what should you do about this person Well, I would say quit it, quit it. <clears throat> now, uh, of course, depends on the situation that you're in. It seems like um, this is an opportunity for you to have this relationship, but there is a possibility that this person will kind of betray you at some point because this person is like that. And this might be a decision to end this relationship you know if you don't feel like it you know if you don't really if you feel you're not ready and there's too much tension or something it might be a good idea to say no depends on your situation so this is our relationship number three let's have a look at our deck number four So what do they think about you? What do they feel? And what do they intend towards you? What do they think? 
about you? Well, I think, um, uh, they might think you're, I don't know, maybe you're a hardworking person who is very nice and kind and they like you, they, they, they might see you as someone having great ideas at work, you know, who's, has great heart, big heart, and who's ready to take lots of responsibilities for themselves, for other people. So they see this hard-working, nice person who's likable by others, who has a good heart. Now, what do they feel about you? So we have the Emperor, we have the Hermit, and Six of Cups. They feel about you. Well, they, they feel they have good memories about you. You know, I feel that um, uh, they felt a lot more about you in the past than they are feeling about you right now. Because this karma point to the fact that they remember your relationship. And right now they might be not interested in being with you. Like they want to be alone right now. Maybe... They right now it's a phase in their life but when they have to be alone or something you know like searching something spiritually and let's say physicality doesn't interest them it can be that sort of thing and um, the feeling I think is of respect of um, good memories good um, some sort of stability and safety you know but also, there is a distancing, some sort of distance, emotional. Like, they want to be alone right now. Why do they want to be alone? I'm just curious what happened. Okay, so we have the... I, I think this person has many ideas in other areas in life. This might concern business or big money, so to say. Um, this person might be focusing on something else right now, you know. And they see opportunities in life. And they just want to not miss those opportunities. And like, they want to make something financially. They want to uh, they have many ideas, you know. And they want to earn money, I think, here. They think destiny is on their side. And I think the person might want to change as a person, you know. Something is in motion in that person's, you know, life, in their thoughts and in their feelings. And I think um, this is kind of temporary. Will it change in the future, these feelings? Will it change? What will happen in the future? I think this person will kind of... They have many ideas and they're trying to work something out in life. Like maybe even in their career. But I think at some point they will drop it. They, they will not continue with that. They will change their mind. Some sort of pessimism will set in. Some sort of doubt. Or simply they will not be interested in anything. You know, so it's temporary, this all business thing as well. Okay. Um, so, let's see what are the intentions of this person towards you. Seven cups. Well, this person definitely wants to harmonize things between you. They want to harmonize things. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. They want to start your life from the beginning, you know, your relationship. They want to start it anew. And so that you both are happy. Find some sort of balance. Find some sort of, you know, um, something that works for you both. It can also talk about a, you know, they're thinking about, physical relationship physically you know they want uh, to achieve some sort of like compromise if you're having problems in your 
you know, uh, with your intimacy, then I think this person is thinking about how to manage that as well. And what is the advice for you regarding this person? What is advice for you regarding this person? Eight of Cups. Well, I think the advice is you will never be able to work this person out. They are mysterious and confused. And um, will, they will... The moon, it can also talk, you know, about, you know, the fact that this person doesn't belong to themselves. You know, they have secrets, they have mood swings, they have, they're like, you know, they're always changing and things like that. And, uh, can talk about social, social anxieties. <clears throat> uh, moodiness and things like that. So basically, you have to just... You cannot explain this person logically. This person is unexplainable. This person is unpredictable. You have to kind of accept it. You know, because when we see the moon, then... It can be, it can be something with the moods, something with uh, fluctuation of moods and confusion within that person. And at the same time, it's very hard to predict. You know that person; they might change, they might again change. You know, and you can never keep up with what's happening in their head. Also, with a moon, you know, I'm getting this, maybe this person is like an artist. Um, and they have to be creative all the time. And maybe they find something they want, they leave it. They find another thing and kind of, it rules them, you know, there are some sort of inspirations, artistic. Some sort of like uh, moods and uh, things like that. <clears throat> It might say this person might be really capable in arts and um, might have a level of skill in that area. And it's a good idea if you support them. Maybe, yeah. With these three cards, we can talk about that. <clears throat> That's how I see this. Okay, so this was our reading number four. <clears throat> Thank you for watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful day. Bye-bye.